Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Europe and Universal Alice 4, where we are paying the iron price as Denmark. All right, we are moving on. Um, we are trying to integrate Sweden, because I want to become Scandinavia. Ottomans have declared war on Persia. That's interesting. Can I wait until they're embroiled in a good war before I declare war on Muscovy? Probably. Money is coming up because we're no longer paying so much for corruption, although we are still paying a good amount for corruption. Don't think we're not. Um, clergy are almost loyal again, which will be really good. Our spike construction rate has been reduced because of corruption. I totally forgot that's actually a thing. Well, that's annoying, but what can we do? Okay. Um, we will probably get a chance to make one more claim before the next war. Our truce does expire in 90, so... Fur, finally not fish over there. Good. We're about a quarter of the way to integrating Sweden, which will be really good. Our king is currently different. Frederick I von Wittelsbach. Um, he's a careful king. He'll be 70 when he gets his next trait. Hopefully he has an heir before then. I would really prefer it, because if not, a noble from the house of, well, currently the Commonwealth, succeeds to the throne. Honestly, I would almost rather prefer an heir with you. Hell, I didn't prefer you, actually, because you're on my dynasty, and I can just use that to my advantage. Some privileges with you. England is influenced Mantua. Fine. And it's next year in about four months that we can do this war. We'll wait until we have the claim, but what we should do, honestly, is boost our morale and stuff. Start getting our troops ready to go. France, Spain has declared war on Genoa, who's been excommunicated. Let's unmothball that one fort that we control. We're not going to undo the navy, because I really don't see the point. We need... Two, three, four... Five. Six. Okay. And then you can march straight to London. Do I want to get you a leader, though, don't I? Um, can I go to the estates and get a leader? I'd rather not hire one myself, because it's costly, and I don't have the military points coming in to back it up right now. I can. I can also request a conquistador, which is not a bad one. That's really good fire leader. Uh, you're going to be coming here, then. And let's request a conquistador as well. Puts us over for how long, though? That's the question. Actually, I want to get you there. I was hoping for at least one siege tick, but you can never be too happy with this, honestly. Um, let's make sure we kick you because we don't need you anymore. Sorry, dude. Um, alright. So, unfortunately, I did not think about this. And they're actually going to be going up in 10 years instead of down. Recruit a minister, though. They'll be done in 9. Good. It might be really close, honestly. We'll see. I think is we could just increase the amount of states we have, and that would help. Okay, local uprisings have gone away. Truth of England has ended. Can fabricate one more claim. Let's do it on Kent itself. Okay, let's come back from England. We have an heir, Sophia 143. Also, I think officially, I don't know if I've ever gotten this achievement regularly, this would count as the princess is in another castle achievement. Because I have a castle in my capital, and we have a princess. Um, Damn it. Fine. I had to do it. Didn't like it, but I had to. At least we have an heir. Our heir is good Diplo. Not too good admin, but we'll take the Diplo points. And at least decent militaristically, so I can afford this. Okay. We will declare our war. 
Mecklenburg will not join. France will. Let's call France. Austria will have to. Um, Cornwall shall be our goal. Let's go. To London, you march. And you will immediately spread out. Try and capture everything. I forgot marches was a fort, by the way. Whoops. We're not to back t about to attack the Austrian army, so... They only had three cavalry in the capital? Wow. Yo, France, get your army together and let's go. Okay, so what else can we take from England? What we should do is take the ones that cost, like, no war score. So, like, maybe not those, but... Actually, this is English Brazil. Can I even take this? No, because I don't have a port in the area. Damn it. What about... I can take you for sure, which will help. I can take you for sure, which will help. Oh, you have two provinces now. Okay. What else can I take? Could take these if there's no forts in the area, which would help. It would be 24 war score just for that already. And aggressive expansion through the roof. Whoever that gets me an access to somewhere I haven't been fighting, so that's fine. Uh, ooh, yes. Thank you for trade steering combat ability. Take you. You need to come in. Well, let's see five, huh? We'll take Kent, we'll take Essex. That's 94 war score. Wow. What if we get rid of these for now? Still 85 war score, 114 aggressive expansion, huh? Wow. Spain joining is annoying, honestly. But I really do want those colonies gone. Like, this one doesn't really matter to me, so I can get rid of that. That one needs to go, though. This does push England back dramatically, and also gives us a peace treaty to win. for 14 years. Also gives us a long truce, but this actually is reasonable, believe it or not. If I take all your money. I can't take all your money, but I can take a good amount. Okay. Please move to Essex. Let's get all of you together. Can you move to Kent? No. Move to Essex then. Okay, we have ducats. Any place that we can make a lot of money. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is decent. 0.25 there, good. Okay. Good money makers. Yeah, not being able to take London is going to be painful, unfortunately. Because it is a major trade center here, but it is the major trade center here, by the way. Excuse me. Who else is in this war? Hey, Mantua. Do you want out? You do. Why do you want out? Have you already been sieged? Probably. No, you hold Mantua, so... Hitting our full blockade here. Could help. We're not going to, but we could. We're not going to just simply because we don't have the amount of ships we should. And letting the French Navy get weaker is not a bad thing. Yo, 
England, we don't have to do this, man. Muscovy has accepted the printing press. It's annoying. But don't take money. Um. Really? Royal influence. With the marriage between Frederick I and his wife Angus, the people of Denmark are experiencing an increase in fondness for all things Brandenburgian. Some cultural exchange is to be expected, particularly considering the popularity of the Queen Consort. It's with alarm that our administrative advisor, Lovnorn, reports that a, a religious shift has been taking place in one of our provinces. It seems that the influence of the Brandenburgian Queen Consort trickles down to even our subjects' way of worship. As the words of the Catholic believers have converted a surprising amount of people. While confronted by it, Angus shrugs, arguing that she has long since converted to the Protestant fate, and the king should know that. I had nothing to do with this shit, please. So be it. I'm not going to go ahead and get our queen upset. Or get our people upset because of the queen. If she says that she has converted to the faith, I agree. That is perfectly fine. I know that you don't have control over everyone, so... Could peace out England earlier, by like not taking Wessex or Essex or Kent. But I don't see why I would do that. I would want to take marches, actually, over both of these, but... We can wait out this war, it's not a problem. Um, we could also unmothball the navy and just go ham and destroy these guys, but... Really don't care that much. And honestly, it might be worth, like, not taking these for now, just to weaken them a little bit and to take the colonies. It's actually not a bad idea, but we can wait. I'm going to say, they cannot be feeling good with the amount of war exhaustion that's going to be coming up for England. Osberg might want out. Let's see if I can piece out some of these guys. See if the war score goes up or down, I guess, is a better question. Montoya wants out. We'll give him white peace. 20, eh, 26 points is better than 23. We'll go to Osberg. As soon as that guy comes back. They do not want peace yet, but they're like one month away from wanting it. So let's see if we can get them down. Nope, now they want more time. We could unmothball the navy, and it does make sense to do so, honestly. Oh wow, England has landed troops up here, huh? Wow. That must have been their colonial army doing stuff. Could not take this and just take that and the two colonies. Which would really help out, actually, because we would get here. It might be worth sending an army over here. Um, no, we'll just get unrest there. It's fine. This should give us Canada as a colonial nation, and then we can send our guy down to work on the other stuff, which will be good. Or we can focus this up here so we can make some more money from our colonial nation. We have so much manpower. back. Yeah, go ham on them and worry about that. France is attacking Austria in woods where France is the defender. That's a good one. Good guy. job, guys. Augsburg wants out. We'll probably give them peace if they really want it. Yeah. War score went down, which means we had siege at Augsburg, unfortunately. Uh, you'll give me this now without even really throwing a fit. Give me this. No? Do I want to say this and then go ahead and declare war in seven years? Not a bad move. It does give us some time to work. Leafland. Oh, Ledger is apparently out. Okay, what do you want? 
more taxes, bigger army, or let's raise the taxes. We could do with more money here. Plus, it bounces out a bit. Speaking of bouncing, who's coming close? Come on, dude. Give me marches. We should probably accept the English culture later, by the way. Um, army's under attack. No surprise. You're almost going to give me this, which would be good. English exhaustion is going to go up. Just It's going to have to. You know, that's not a question of it. They'll give this to me now, like, period. Huh? Can I take another province? Like, something cheap. Derbyshire is 14 points. We could if we waited. It's not a bad idea to do so. Holland has come under. Oh, these bastards have somehow were able to get a boat over here and do that. That's interesting. And now we've taken out a loan. Great. Weakening England makes sense to me. No further weakening them, at least. Because the unrest will go up, relative length of war will go down. Peace offer is not going to go down, but oh well. Okay, they're willing to accept. Let's take this for now. We're just chunking up England, guys. It's going to be a little bit of time, but we'll get it done. Let's move you out. Let's move you here. Marches. You're losing your fort. Increase autonomy. Increase autonomy. You have copper. Damn. And you have iron. Wow, that's going to be bad for the English, then. Let's make our four cores. With the two out here. Oh, you're a colony. You're just a regular colony then. Okay. I thought for sure they had finished that. Danish Canada, though, is almost ready to go. Be nice. Um, we can lower our autonomy. Bavaria wants help. Or Brandenburg wants help against Bavaria. We will agree. We're happy to join the fight. However, we're actually not going to join the fight. We're going to lower our maintenance down to nothing. And we'll let our vassals do what they can. Let's move you out, please. There you go. Don't take attrition. You really don't need our help here. You're just here because you want some help. You just want us around. Let's put it that way. Yeah, this colony costs us a lot. But if this guy gets done... I can send him maybe down here to help out. And this would actually be something good to pick up, right? Ah, yeah. If we can get some of these, we'd be in good shape. We can run down this way. Maybe pick up that one. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of money coming up this way. We'll see, though. We have time. One of our missionaries is almost done, so they'll get to work on the other ones. Yeah, and I know you are pissy, but I can't do anything about it. Your unrest is 4.7 because of separatism, because of... Oh, not because of separatism, because of exhaustion, extension, not the right freaking religion, a lot of things. We'll send someone out to help you, though. Speaking of which, though... We could repay a loan pretty soon. Which is actually not a bad idea. Keep working on converting people that we can. Romsdon. Okay. Um, what we can do is split you off, split you in half, on Mothwall. 
wait a couple months, pick up these guys, send them down. Not sure if that's enough, but start your move over here. You might take some attrition, but we have enough islands, I think, that it doesn't matter. Open sea, you know what take attrition. Open sea, you know what take attrition. Ooh. Interesting to say the least. Let's not lose our transports. When will you be there? In October. A little scary, because we could lose our ships. Come on, get to fleet range, please. You will be in fleet range here, won't you? Our colony is done growing. We should have Vinland. We'll call it Vinland, that's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead then and send our colonists down here. They can reach, which is broken news. Get, okay, get, get into coast, please. Ah, you'll repair, which is good news. I'm going to have you pick up these guys. Okay. Ah, take for the ducats. I need to, like, land right on their heads, please. And you'll be there when? December. Okay. Um, so since we got enough ducats to pay off for loan, let's do so. There you go. We're now at 42 ducats, which is really good. How much to upgrade you again? 121. We could probably wait to upgrade these guys. Okay. You'll do us some good sitting there, so just do so. You being English is really annoying, but I can't do anything with you. If we can core you, then convert you. That would really help. We could raise your autonomy, I guess. How are you doing, Vinland? Your capital is in the new, huh? Need accommodation. Apparently, you're thinking you're making enough money that you're willing to build cities for us, which I can appreciate. Thank you. Um, you should be siege, I think. You are losing ducats, unfortunately. Um, we could give you money. Wow, you get, like, nothing. <laughs> we'll help you out, I think. If we can get at least these, we can get a colony going up down here too, and that'd be good. King died, we now have a queen regency. Well, our, thankfully our queen regent is way better than our regent, so we can actually spend points to get our stab up. Unfortunately, we're real close to teching up, and we're not going to be able to tech up on time. Because our king was crap, honestly. Luckily, the princess is not going to be that bad for us, so... For the Protestant faith, Lubick likes this. Good. Okay, you're going to arrive here. That'll change your culture and your um, religion, which is very good. Okay. Native assimilation. Very nice. They're almost done, then. Fine. Which one is colonial regents? I know I did one of these to be colonial. No? Ah, there it is. Colonial Eastern United States. Okay. So we do want all of the colonial Eastern United States if we can. Same thing like we want colonial Canada, but we'll see. We will have time to mess with that. Um... Just revoke the claim. I really don't want that claim anyway. Like, I want to give you about a ducat. Ducat for 10 years. That's about fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah our colony got done. Okay, hang on. Are you making money now? That we're giving you money. Yes, you're barely making money, but 
that'll give you some to work with. Okay, your colony got done. Doesn't really matter. Wait, does this count as next? I think it does. I do want to get to Delaware. I guess we can find out if that's officially next door. It should be because there's a border there, and it looks like I can walk across, so. Okay. Portugal is just eating through Mexico. Brittany is still down here, which is funny, in a way. I could probably take all their islands if I were to go south, which actually is not a bad idea because Brittany might come down here. And you'll get your colonists running pretty quickly. Currently not paying for any troops, we knew that. Um, can I upgrade these 10 ships? Genoa sees one territory to Spain. Damn it, Genoa. I need one more month to get enough money, apparently. Queen Regent has managed to convert the heretics. Very nice. The war is over. We didn't really get much ducats, but it's fine. Brandenburg holds us favors. Yay. Don't really care about the English separatists. Can't do much about them. They're mostly in Chesapeake. Where we have yet to convert completely. Damn. Some marsh, by the way. Sounds about right. Okay. Where else? I know you're making money and you're also getting a colony going, so that's good news for us. I don't know what your aggressive or how aggressive you are working on those natives. Uh, we should fabricate claims on you. If nothing else, we could come close to taking up. We are so far behind. Let's grant new world charters. Apparently I haven't done that in a while. Let's recruit an administrator, and then we're going to demand diplo points. And you'll be gone before I have to worry about you, right? <laughs> Should probably be checking that. Answer is yes, actually. They'll be gone in this month, so that's good. Or in the next couple of months. Clergy! Could give you money. I really don't want to. But wait. You will be gone in 99. Right? It's going to be close, but I think we can do it. If not, we might just have to revoke a territory, which will piss them off for a bit, but not too badly. Our cores are coming in, which is very good. Our colonists here has arrived, and you are seeing that there is a nearby colony. That's good. Or a next-door colony. Really good, really good. Okay. So we got our three cores done. That's very good. We will tech up diplomatically if I get the chance, although teching up and getting the extra colonist is really good right now. Ooh, that's a good question. Do we go colonist or do we go tech? Honestly, I think we have to do tech because we are so far behind. If we can get up here, I will fight the Miami. Officially, I should try to fight all these guys. Our diplomat has passed away. We got a statesman. Oh, that's great, actually. Let's pick up our statesman. That'll speed you up. Done in 64, according to you. That's still the same, but it might have been because we had less Diplo points coming in for a while. Horse population boom. Cavalry calls us. Great. These English separatists are going to pop, I think. So let's not try to convert them, although we could. Clergy and burgers have switched. Good. Cottage industries. One ba plus base production within four cities. We're just extra taxes. No, we're going to go ahead and take this. I know the burgers are going to get more upset with us. But I would rather have four extra diplo points than anything else. We will also establish new world missions. Less uprising, more chance to assimilate. Very nice. Alright, and that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode, 
We're going to continue trying to upgrade our fleets where we can. Um, that should be interesting enough. Let's. Can I upgrade you guys? Hang on. Let's see if I can do this real quick before the episode ends. I can. All right. Upgrade. You're not going to be too useful, but do it anyway. And thank you very much for watching again. I will see you next time. Goodbye.